Well, hi, everybody. This is John Jay. I just want to cover how to quickly amend articles to an LLC. We're going to pick the state of Arizona, and I'm going to do a share screen here and switch over. I've got two monitors here, so that's why I keep looking to the side. So um, you see that I found this form. Now, I found this just by going to, I used DuckDuckGo, and I searched on, what was it, uh, Arizona LLC articles amend, or some combination of that phrase, right? And I got this document. It's a PDF file. It comes right from the state of Arizona. And it's got everything you need. And you can edit the document on the internet and then you can uh, print it and mail it. I think some of these you can submit online, I'm not sure. But um, either way you can mail it. it. Takes about a week turnaround usually. Um, this one, I edited it online, I downloaded it. And this is what you're looking at, the PDF version that's on my computer. So I'm gonna walk you through like a dummy company to show you how I did this. But if for some reason, like some of you guys are having trouble with the PMA and the articles, and we haven't made this change yet, um, but I may consider doing that if more and more people have difficulty with the PMA. So what we'll do is just make uh, the signer, the single member owner, get all the accounts opened, and then we can amend the articles however you want. So let's not have the articles however you want to start with, let's just have them however you want later on, no problem. All right, so as you can see here, we have uh, this, com <clears throat> this company, LLC, that's the name of the company, all right? Hypothetical. What we're doing is this is a cover letter, okay? It's just a cover letter and it's a checkbox form. And it's this, you can see it right here, L015I. Okay, that's the name of that. You can see the URL, you see? It comes right from the Arizona CC.gov. Um, the organization, the agency that does the um, filings for Arizona is called the Arizona Corporations Commission. It's a little bit different than your Secretary of State. So in any case, we'll just scroll down here. In this case, I'm gonna change the uh, membership. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the box. I'm not gonna change the entity name. I'm gonna identify the name of the company. I'm gonna check the box for the uh, changing the members. And I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna take the member that's there now, which is for example, the Smith Family PMA or the John Smith Society, however you guys have it. Uh, whatever's there now, I'm gonna say that one is gonna be, I'm gonna add in this name. So this is what I do. I add in the name of the new member. So if I wanna go back to an individual, this is how you do it. If you wanna go to a PMA, you do it the opposite way. So the first thing you do is you add the new member and then you remove the previous member. You don't remove the previous member and then add a new member. Okay, so this is what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna add Jonathan, Jonathan Smith and that's his address and all that jazz. And I check down here, add member. So now I've got the Smith family PMA and John Smith, Jonathan Smith as the members. And they these members are what I say they are. They're managing members. It doesn't really matter if you say managing member if it's one member, it's a managing member, okay? Then on box two, I'm going to remove one of them. This is the second step. So again, name of the owner here, managing member. I'm not going to, um, I'm, I'm removing him, right? So I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm just removing that one. Address again. And this one, I don't know why they put this code here, but it's for the United States. So that's why that's there, whatever. It's their internal stuff. And then again, I check the box for remove member. See, so first thing you do is you add a member, then you remove the member that you don't want. And that's it. On this particular form, they make it kind of easy. I don't have to do anything else on boxes three and four. I'm not changing managers, meaning I'm not going to, going to go from an outside manager, non-member manager to a member manager or vice versa. I'm not going to do that. So I don't need to do, use this portion of the form here so I can really uncheck that box. and then. Moving down here, none of this applies. I'm not gonna change the management structure. I'm not gonna change the statutory agent, the registered agent, don't need to do that. Everything else stays the same. I'm gonna skip all these boxes. I think I can leave all these blank. If I do something wrong here, guess what guys, it doesn't break. You can supplement it, you can revise it, you can do it again. It's not gonna be detrimental. So we're just gonna go through here. Don't need to do this here, no change of address. I'm gonna keep it as what it is, an LLC. Uh, it's not going to become a professional services, all that stuff. There's nothing unusual here. I don't need to have a generic other amendment. Okay. And then make sure I check this box. I accept the terms. Okay. Now you can sign for the LLC. You can also sign for the PMA. So this box really here is for signing for a PMA or a trust or some other entity that may own the LLC. We're, some of us are getting away from that. We're switching back and forth. So 
my suspicion though is you can do either of these and it's not going to matter you're not going to jeopardize anything you can't break it okay so technically i think in this example if i'm going to take get rid of my pma and i'm going to add an individual let's say myself as the signer i can use this box here okay i'm an individual authorized to sign i don't think there will be a problem if in any case I don't do that and I only do that. Notice how they only give you one choice. You can only do one or the other, right? So you're not really signing on an entity, right? If you're putting yourself there individually. So you should be fine. But notice how this is, I believe, I think if you type your name out here, it will be able to be uploaded. But if you look at the directions, it tells you all this stuff you can do, all right? You can mail it in, uh, maybe, let's see. Yeah, it just tells you more in introduction uh, in instructions. But yeah, it's $25. You just mail it in. It'll work, three pages, checkbox form, five minutes, okay, print it out. It's the same in every single state. New Mexico's like this, I've done many of these. Uh, guys, don't think you're by yourself. If you don't wanna do this, trust me, it's not complicated, but you paid for a service. If I set this up for you, if you ask me to, I'll do this for you, I don't mind. I have people that can do this, I can do this. Sometimes I can do it while we're talking on the phone and I email it to you, okay? So no, no worries there, but uh, we can get everything we want. Sometimes we have to wait, okay? Sometimes we have to set up our accounts and then we can change the articles, all right? So that's the end of it. Nothing else to discuss. Wow, how simple is that? Let me know if you have any problems, but that's Arizona.